I've been fortunate. Some of my finest moments, I won amateur titles. I won professional titles. It boils back down to two things, that family support and being a Chickasaw. They have that blood run through me, that competitive spirit and what I got inside of me runs hard and runs red, and it's all chicken salt, and I'm proud of it. In Oklahoma, Blackwell's a hotbed of, of amateur wrestling. There's national champions all over the place, and my mom was a single woman, and she worked two jobs. Even though we didn't have anything, we had each other, and, and that's, you know, like growing up in Oklahoma. A lot of us Okies didn't have a lot, and if you had a strong family, that made the difference in your life. I started wrestling when I was six years old, and my older two brothers were great athletes, so we had something to offer the, the city, offer the town, and pride in being a good athlete. My brother Jack was probably blessed with the most athletic ability of any of us. He was one of those natural guys and probably the prototypical athlete that you'd want to develop anybody from. We wanted to prove to everybody that we're as good as anybody sitting in the room. And I think that's really what drove my brother and I to achieve what we did. There's so many sacrifices that you have to make if you're if you're a successful wrestler. I could go on and on and on about about what wrestling does for you and the, the character it helps build and the determination. There's weight control. There's the hours that you got to uh, devote to the workout. And not only that, you got to stay eligible. You got to you got to you got to make your make your grade. I worked hard. I was very dedicated, and I was offered a scholarship to Oklahoma State University. My brother had already won a national title in Stillwater, and so he had got that contract offer that he wanted. So my brother took me to a wrestling match, and his tag team partner had gotten hurt. So they said, we need somebody to fill in as tag team partner for your brother. And they said, didn't your brother wrestle in college? Yeah, he's in college now. Can he wear your tights? Yeah, well, they put on a pair of one of my brother's extra tights. Somebody else had a pair of extra boots, lace those up. I went out and had a professional wrestling match, and I absolutely loved it. Got my rear end kicked, but I loved it. I loved the competition. I loved the, uh, the feeling that I got, the fans' reaction, and they seemed to like me. I was a young kid, and they knew I didn't know anything, but they got behind me anyway. After the match was over with, you know, I went back to school for finish up the semester, left Oklahoma State and went over to Tulsa and became a professional wrestler. I might have got a degree at Oklahoma State, but I got my PhD from professional wrestling. When I go out to that ring, we were going to give you a match that suspended your belief that it wasn't real. We're still gonna be wrestlers because that's the only style we know. But we're gonna be more aggressive, we're gonna be more intelligent, we're gonna bend the rules instead of breaking them. In our business, you're, you, it's not about winning and losing. You work for the people. You work for those people out there buying the tickets. It's what they're paying their money for. They wanna be able to cheer. They wanna be able to boo the bad guys. So that was our whole mindset during our career. The championship that I'm probably the proudest of is one of my world tag team champions. I was world team tag team champions with my brother. Winning the title with him was the most exciting night in my entire career until we went into the Chickasaw Nation and the WWE's Hall of Fame together as, as the Briscoe Brother tag team. Also, as a chick, we were the first brothers that they inducted at the same time. So gives us a lot of a lot of pride. It's an amazing life, but I pinch myself all the time.
Even though we had nothing coming up, my mom always taught us to give back. And my way of giving back was through helping kids learn wrestling and learn about athletics and, and learn about life. And there's a way that you can give back. If you have nothing, there's something in you that you can give back. You just got to find it. Pop it up. But there's nothing more rewarding than sitting in that mat and watching a kid that three months prior didn't know what a double leg takedown, didn't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch, as they say in wrestling. And you teach him, and he works hard at it. He drills at it every day. He thinks about it. He dreams about it. And to see them go out and see them win the match for the first time, that's it right there. That's why you do it. It's in the blood. You just don't want to give up. It's a, it's a Chickasaw pride in you.